All right, so I'm going to be showing off the Google Cardboard app that I've been making for the past month. Um, I'm going to be showing it off in Unity, so there's going to be no split screen, but rest assured that I made this for the Cardboard, and the controls are the user looking around um, with the Cardboard and the single trigger on the side of the Cardboard. So I'm just going to jump right in and do a little explaining about what I really focused on when I was making this app. Um, I tried to ensure the highest level of comfort possible because that's one of the biggest things that I learned at my uh, previous company where in VR and AR comfort levels are key. Um, if you're trying to make an app and you just it, it's an amazing app um, it's an amazing experience for the user but they just can't live in it for more than five ten minutes because it makes them nauseous then what do you have? <laughs> so I focus on designing around that um, the first thing that that entails is that I tried to make this 60 FPS at all times, um, which, I mean, that's pretty easy to do in this day and age, but it's pretty, it's not as easy on uh, the mobile devices, uh, especially considering the fact that when you do design for the cardboard, you have to render it twice. Um, so this runs at 60 FPS most times, um, and I really strive for that even with all these objects in the screen. And uh, other things that I did to focus on comfort was to ensure that when an object um, obscures the user's view, it only does so momentarily. Um, so if uh, one of these asteroids was to come up and hit you in the face, um, I've got a clipping plane, so it's not as brutal, and it only exists in front of your view for uh, probably less than a second. And the curious part of that is I actually tried testing a crosshair that was in the center of the screen and followed the user around, but it felt nauseating. It was a very strange phenomenon. Um, so I pulled the plug on that, and now the user just aims without any um, crosshair. Once you fire a few times, you get a, a feel for where the center of the screen is, and you can aim without the, the crosshair. Uh, and tying back into the UI, um, to which I actually thought was pretty cool, was because there's no crosshair, you'd have to uh, <laughs> you'd have to fire a few times at the UI to get a feel for where you're aiming. Um, and I didn't really want that because that means you could accidentally click some of the other buttons. Um, so instead, what I did was I created this little ball uh, that lives on the UI. And if you look away, it doesn't follow your view. So it sort of tricks your mind into thinking that this thing is a part of the UI itself and not really um, necessarily in the center of your vision, which uh, it cuts down on the discomfort you feel. And it's actually really usable. Um, if the ball's on the play button, boom, we get into the game. So the game itself is a basic rail shooter. Um, not going to focus on the game design, but the experience is actually really interesting. Uh, with the asteroids coming at you, you get a real feel for the uh, the 3D in the cardboard. Um, the layering helps uh, a huge amount when uh, you're trying to show off what the, uh, the cardboard experience is like. Um, so I just killed an enemy. Uh, here's another star screen, or uh, UI menu, has the same stuff. Uh, the ball only stays on the UI, never leaves it. Um, again, pretty interesting, pretty comfortable. Uh, other than that, there's not too much uh, that this specific project shows off. Um, so I'll cover a little bit more in my uh, pre-write-up sort of like small cover letter that I'll attach to the email. But yeah, so this was one of the things I've been working on um, in my downtime between jobs, and I hope you guys liked it.